So here we have Ollie, and we are just going to do our go home video, which is where we go over all of his commands, and how we give them, and how we work through any hiccups that you may come up with when he comes home. Ollie is not a food motivated dog, so we don't really use treats. Um, he will do kibble, but we find that just physical praise and verbal praise are perfect for him, and that's what he seemed to really like and take in um, with his training. So we're just going to give attention. Ollie, sit. Good boy. Let the hand dash up. Sit. Ollie, sit. Uh huh. So we lay down on his back, so we're not going to reward for that. Ollie, up, 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 up. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Ollie, down. So the hand dash is down. Go down. Do it again. Spiritual 
put his in there? Mainly because that is his big craze. Ollie! Hey! Boop, boop, boop! Don't make any noises, pay attention. Wait! Uh-uh. So his head's starting to move forward. So we're just going to lean with him. Tell him, wait! Okay! Good boy! Good job! Good boy! So now we are going to work on our sit stay. Ollie, sit. Uh-huh. Ollie, sit. You get distracted? Ollie! We have a party. We get really excited. without needing any pressure on the leash. So, we're going to start by getting Ollie's attention, as always. Ollie, down. Uh-uh. So I want to wait until I have his focus before I tell him to stay. Down. Uh-uh. Ollie. Down. Waiting a minute, we're gonna work through this. Ollie does like to sit with his butt near you. 
because you usually think you're going to give them scratches. Ollie, sit. Good boy. Stay. Uh-uh. We're just going to place him roughly back where he was. Sit. Sorry about that brief intermission. We had some people coming through the room. We just took a minute. So, again, I'm just going to get him into a sit. Wait till I have his focus and then tell him to stay. We do have some noise going on outside, which is great distraction. And again, distractions are great because if you can work through the distraction, the dog can definitely do it without the distraction. I will sit. Uh-uh. Good. really playful, loud, obnoxious, with a lot of movements real quick. Allie! Come! Good boy. Allie! Sit! Good! Good job! Allie, stay! Uh-uh! Okay! Good boy! As I previously mentioned, stay at this age in the short term. Um, stay a couple minutes at most if you continue to work on it once he comes home. I'm going to do a stop sign handout for a stay. And then your release word is okay in that nice high pitched tone. So now we're just going to move the camera to our scale. Ollie, come here. Ready? Place. So we are just going to point to the object to say place. So Ollie is 33.6 pounds on our scale today. We do believe he was 33 pounds at the vet. Uh -uh. So the key to place is for them to stand, sit, or lay down on the object for up to 30 minutes as they get older and you continue to work on time intervals. They can have a long-term chew, like a calm or a bully stick on this to keep them occupied. And then when you're ready, our release word is Okay, good boy. Holly does a lot better with his place than he does his stay, and for some dogs, that's just how it is at this age. Uh, some dogs do better with stay at this age, others do better with place. The really cool thing about both is they help build up time with each hand. So if you can get a really nice, long time frame on place, uh, that can transfer over into your stay. Place is just a little bit more structured in the sense that they have an object that they have to stay on, uh, but stay is more structured in the sense that they have to stay in the position that you told them to be in and they cannot move until told to. So we're going to demonstrate that one more time. Ollie, place. Good. Uh uh. So if they go to step off, you just give a little uh uh. Good boy. And you should be able to move around a little bit. boy. Good job. I really like belly rubs and ear rubs, so when he does really good on something that takes a lot of patience and focus for him, I like to give him a lot of extra praise, tell him he's a good boy, you want to make it a party, very exciting. Holly. So here we are demonstrating our leash walking. Ollie, leave it. Good boy. We are inside currently, but we are going to go outside and we'll use our weight command at the door. So anytime you change direction, you want to tell them this way, helps cue and handler focus. Ollie, uh-uh. Anytime there's tension on the leash, you want to go, uh-uh. Wait for that tension to release and keep moving. Ollie, this way. Come on. Good boy. As you can see, there's a lot of slack in our leash. This way. boy. This way. You can change up the pace. The faster pace tends to get the dog a little more engaged. This way. Come on. Makes it really exciting like it's a game. Ollie, this way. Good boy. So here we are going to put him into a sip. Good boy. I'm going to tell him, wait. Okay. Good boy. So here we are outside. Uh-uh. Ollie, this way.
Good boy. Lots of smells and sounds going on out here. Good distractions. This way. Good boy. He's changing directions. Not necessarily just when he hits the end of the leash. Uh-uh. This way. But just in general to keep his focus on. Keep him paying attention to me to see where we're moving. Ollie. This way. This way. Good boy. Lots of praise. And he usually sticks right close to you. Uh-uh. To your left side. This way. It's never any extreme pulling with Ollie. Unless he gets startled by something. But that's any dog. Ollie. This way. Good boy. The key is that you never want to reposition with the leash. So you never want to pull him. If he's pulling and you pull, that's just going to teach him to pull more. Ollie. Sit. Regain his focus. Ollie. Sit. Good boy. Wait. Okay. Good boy. So yeah, this is Ollie's go home video. And if you have any questions, obviously after he comes home, it is a lifetime support. You can always reach out to us and we'll give you a hand however we can.